so hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's the programming made easy by the kenya guys of late i have not dropped any video and sorry for that so today guys I have a great content for you today i want to show you how you can i want to show you more the keyboard shortcuts so guys let's start it i'm going to use the powerpoint presentation form so let's start it so guys this we start i come to slideshow so guys today i prepared something great for you so we can start programming made easy by the kenya presents mm. know your keyboard what i mean by saying know your keyboard is that i want to show you some the, of the keyboard shortcut keys so some of them so before you start with that you need to know the types of keyboard which are available so number one of the keyboards so you're supposed to know the definition of a keyboard what is a keyboard so a keyboard is one of the primary input devices used with a computer and it is used to enter data so the work of a keyboard is to enter data since it is an input device so from them the types of keyboard one is the standard keyboard that is the normal keyboard number two it's the braille keyboard the braille keyboard is mostly used by the blind people that's the type of the keyboard they use number three you have a flexible keyboard this is a type of keyboard which you can also you can fold and it will not have any problem it will not have any technical issue number four is the ergonomic keyboard it's just like any other keyboard it's only that is special little bit number five we have the gaming keyboard so the gaming keyboard is mainly used for playing games such things there are also other types of keyboards which are many so from here we go to our next subtopic this is where the types of keyboard buttons the keyboard has many has hundred or has many buttons and most of those buttons they are classified into several into several classification according to their work so number one is the functional keys they are keys which have special purpose and they include keys like f1 to f12 escape these are keys which have which have special work for example when you're in a pro when you're in an application you press escape it is going to exit that application so other works like f1 for example like f5 f5 is meaning used to refresh so that's the work since it is a functional key number two they are alphanumeric keys these are the normal keys that you use to type that is a to z a b c d all the way to z number three is the numeric keys they are the number keys that is from zero to nine from there you have the special keys these are keys that are used in with other combinations for example Control plus S it is to save. This is a special key because if for you to use it you have to combine with other keys. For example, for example, when you want to put a hash in your document, you have to press shift and number three. Number five we have toggle keys. These are keys operated in two state modes, e.g. num lock, caps lock. What I mean by two state modes is that for example when I press caps lock it can either give me you can either when I start typing it the out it will either give me the when I type the letters will either appear in small letters or capped. That is what I mean by two state modes. So from there, number six you also have the navigational keys. These are the keys which are used to move, uh, which are used to navigate through a page or something like that. A good example is the up or down key page uh, the arrow keys which are mainly for those keys so from there here is a picture of the keys for example you have the functional keys navigational keys control keys alphanumeric numeric control key so from there we want to enter the main topic of today that is the keyboard shortcut keys so for number one today we will have control plus a which is used to select all contents of a page guys beside this i will also do another video showing the giving the evidences for these control shortcut keys if they will work 
so for now you're just going to do it theoretically so our number two key will be control plus b it is used in making the highlighted text bold number three control control plus c it is used to copy the highlighted text remember guys for bold uh, for copy for the for the text to be bold you have first to highlight it or else it won't so from there you have control plus u it is used to underline the highlighted text sorry for the misspelled number five we have control plus v which is used to paste the copied text so from there can you recall what the shortcut keys do control plus a control plus b control plus c control plus u control plus v give us i'll give you a minute so you can recall you can see if you can remember So from here, let me give you the answers. The control for is for selecting all text. Control plus B is for bold. Control plus C is for copy. Control for use the underline. Control plus V is for pasting. So from there, you go another set of keys. So our set now for the set number six, number two, number six, you have control plus N. It creates a new file or page. Mostly it happens on when you're saving, when you're in most applications, when you're in browsers like chrome when you just press ctrl plus then it will give you a new page ctrl plus a is used almost in every application for example the word the microsoft word microsoft access ctrl shift plus s it used to save a, f a file which was saved before what do i mean by a file which was saved before for example today i can open a file and i save it as the kenya but tomorrow i can also come again and think of receiving the file giving the file another name so for you to save it another time and also rename it you have to control plus shift plus s to save a file which has been saved before that is number nine you have control plus i it is changes the highlighted text to italics number 10 you have shift plus any letter for example when you press a shift and any letter for example you press just any letter in your keyboard that is when I mean letters that is between A to Z it will capitalize it will capitalize so guys can you recall what the shortcut G does a minute guys let me give you the answers for example control plus then you have said that is a new file control plus S that is save uh -huh, control plus shift plus s save a saved file sorry for the saver file it's supposed to be save a saved file control plus i it, it puts the highlight text in italics number 10 shift plus any letter capitalizes the pressed letter so from there you go set three so in set three now number one is control plus z it is used to undo control plus y it is used to redo control plus x it is used to cut number 14 control plus l it is used to align sorry not line it is used to align content to the left that is for example when you're in powerpoint you want to align your text to the left you just highlight it and then you press control plus l number 15 control plus r it is used to align your content to the right for example let's say you had aligned your your work in the center and you want either to align in align it to the right you just con press you highlight it and then press ctrl plus r or, or uh, ctrl plus l to align it in the left so guys can you recall what the shortcut keys do, do? a minute here I give you the answers Control plus Z is said it is undo, control Y redo, control plus X it is cut, control plus L align content to the left, control plus R align your content to the right. So from there you go to another set, set four. So our number one will be control plus O. It is used to open a saved file or a page. This, um, for example, a case where you use such a place is when you are using most 
of the application software such as um, so you use as good examples like microsoft word you can also sublime text any application that you need to type and where you know you have to save a file you have to use control plus o so our next one will be control plus p this is for printing a document or a file this is normal if ev almost everywhere when you even go to a file even just the same like just a good example is even here powerpoint when you just control plus p it will print it will bring you to the option it will give you the options of printing so another key a shortcut key is the control plus shift plus the greater sign this you will use to increase the font size in powerpoint also control plus shift plus the, the less sign it will decrease the font size it also does in powerpoint Another key is the start button. For example, when you want to screenshot, like for our phones, you just press the power button and the volume and the volume button. Like in this case, in our computer, you cannot do that. So you have to press the con uh, the start button and the print screen button. So PRT PRT SCN means print screen print screen. So that is the uh, for trouble for not so troubleshooting but for screenshotting for screenshot sorry so uh, number 21 and our last one will be control plus alt plus delete this will this keys uh, will bring you the security options e.g the sign out another good example is the task bar uh, not the task bar it will on the right side on the down right side bottom right side it will bring you the option of uh, uh, restarting your computer shutting down your computer search keys that's the work so guys this is what I had for you today guys please subscribe share like my videos also guys I had another thing I wanted to show you a website which I've been have come up with for recipes so guys here's my website which i've made and i uh, have put some of the recipes for example when i come to be fridge i can come for and tea you can see the recipe for making a tea uh cocoa i've done it i'm still on the process of making it or finishing since i've not made for other places like the lunch i've not made one supper i've not made one only have just made for the beverages for example when you come to juice there are types of juices for example orange juice if you want to get the recipe you can get it if you want to get uh, another juice like the pineapple juice you can get it i've just made it in a simple way guys after i finish it i will inform you i will show you how to make one and actually i will host it in the i will host it so that it can be available for everybody for example when you come for breakfast i've only made for one meal tea items that these are the things that can be eaten with tea these are a few examples for for now i've made for mandazi only guys and actually i can show you the folder containing this for example it's these foods here are some of the things which i've made the css the css files the html files and the pictures which i've used here they are so guys as i continue making the website i'll be informing you where i have reached so that you can get the recipes so guys thanks for watching please please subscribe uh, subscribe comment like and remember to share thank you god bless you all